I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to answer a few questions today. It's Wednesday morning. I'm kind of rushed for time. I've got a lot of things going on, but I want to give you guys a video that actually answers some questions. One of the things you guys were saying was, can we see the wheels on a bandsaw actually working? Yeah, they got clipped off of that because the video, I'm having problems with the camera as usual. So I clipped off that part of the video. So I'm going to show you the actual wheels on the actual bandsaw rolling across the floor. Enjoy! The idea is to be able to wheel the bandsaw back out of the way when I don't need it and pull it out, cut off what I need, put it back. That way I can have the truck in here most of the time. Pull the truck out when I don't need it, bring the bandsaw out, cut what I gotta cut, put the bandsaw back, wheel the truck back in, all's well and good. I think some of you guys are a lot like me. That's why you come here. One of the things that I like to do is go and watch other people's videos. I like to make videos, but I also like to see what other people are doing in their videos. One of the guys that I really like is Tractor Man 44. He's got a lot of knowledge about things that I don't get much chance to work with. He put out a video yesterday that I watched about the Bell Saw 812 uh, sawmill. He's got one, runs it off an old Oliver. He said he only runs it every couple of years, but he's got some video clips on that video. You should go take a look at it. Very interesting. Also, I like to read the descriptions and the comments. The descriptions carry a lot of information that you don't get necessarily from the video. Maybe you just don't see it, or you don't notice it, or whatever, but there's a lot of things there. One of the things that I also do is read the, the questions in the comments. I get more out of the comments and questions on my channel than I do from any other part of it. And I also get a lot of information from reading the comments and questions on the other channels. I watched Tractor Man 44 this morning. And in the comments was one comment from one ordinary guy. I thought, huh, that sounds interesting, so I went and looked at his channel. That's another great channel. I watched his video about making a headboard for his bed. That's very similar to a job that I did over in Union City, that he wanted to have a special headboard. Didn't look anything at all like one ordinary guy's headboard, but it was exactly what she wanted. Custom made. I had to assemble it in the bedroom. It was that big. So anyways, One Ordinary Guy, Cracker Man 44. You should go check out their channel. Now I'll show you some clips of some other things that I got going. There's one problem with this pump. Uh, actually, there's multiple problems with the pump, but this is the one we're going to attack today. You're supposed to be able to just open this little valve and let the cylinder retract. The problem is, sometime in the past, this little valve got bent and that valve handle got broken off of it. So I need to make a new handle. Now to get this valve out so I can straighten it, there's a little Allen bolt right here on the side. But using this hex key, I can remove that socket head cap screw. Then I can spin this valve out. It's not easy. The handle would make this a lot easier, but then I wouldn't need to be doing it. I think the thing to do with this is to put it in the hydraulic press and straighten it out. I need to make a new aluminum handle for the valve on the hydraulic system. And I thought I'd use a piece of aluminum, but this chunk of bar stock is way too long to get my little lathe. So, out to the bandsaw.
That was a lot easier than Hacksaw. Well, that's all the time we have today, but why not stop back tomorrow? There'll be another video and more things to do. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That'll get you a notification when every one of the new videos comes out. While you're at it, take a chance and go over there and look at Tractor Man 44's channel. I think you'll like it.